Okay, so we are ready to roll. The very first thing we're going to do is to create a personal access token, which we can use to have Terraform interact with DigitalOcean's API. If you don't have a DigitalOcean account yet, uh, just open up the description to this video, and I've got an affiliate link in there so that you get some credit. Uh, well, we both get some credit when you uh, when you sign up through that link. Regardless of how you get your DigitalOcean account, once you're logged in, click the API menu item up here. And then we're going to create our access token here. You can just click Generate New Token. And we're going to enter a token name. In this case, I'll just say Terraform Digital Ocean. And we're going to give it Read Write Access because we actually need to create new infrastructure with this token. So this is important. you got to copy this right away and stash it somewhere safe, like in a text file or something, just until we get to using it. You're only going to see this access token once when you create it. So make sure to copy it here and then stash it in a text file. The very next thing you're going to want to do is to create an SSH key because once we create some infrastructure, we have to make sure that it gets provisioned with our SSH key on there. Now there's one caveat, you need an unencrypted SSH key to do that. So switch to a new terminal, run SSH keygen, uh, uh, the type is going to be ECDSA, and you're going to give that a name that you can remember. Uh, I think we'll put it at home, we'll put whatever your home directory is, SSH, and then we're going to call it DO key, Doki. And this is the important part. When it prompts you for a passphrase, just leave it empty and hit enter. You don't have to do that twice. So that creates a key that isn't actually encrypted with a passphrase, which means that your automation tools can use it. Okay, so we've created our key, and you can see that if I list out my my SSH directory, dokey and dokey.pub. There they are. The next thing you've got to do is to grab your public key, so the public half of your key. We're going to copy this, and then you're going to go to your account menu, settings, and then security on the left. And here you're going to add this SSH key. You can just click add, give it a name again, DigitalOcean Terraform so that I know that it's my Terraform key. And you'll see that it actually calculates um, like an MD5 hash, a fingerprint of this key for you. You're gonna copy that as well. Stash it in your text file. And the last prerequisite is just having Terraform installed. You can follow the instructions for all of these platforms if you like. Uh, what I like to do is to just, because I'm on Linux, I grab the link location for the 64-bit version. And then you can like, uh, I'll open up a new terminal CD to the temp directory. And then I can just double you get this, which will just download it. You can remove the params here. That's like silly. So this will download. And then once it's here, I can just unzip. It's just a regular zip file. So we're going to unzip Terraform. And that should just put a Terraform binary. You can see it there in green in our temp directory. And now we can just sudo copy Terraform to where it belongs, like user local bin. When you echo path, you'll you'll notice that user local bin is already on there because that's just one of the places that most Linux systems will look. So now when we say which Terraform, we can see we've got it installed and you can run like Terraform dash H for help. So you can see that that binary is now installed on the system. It's not done through a package manager or anything, but the ones in the package managers either don't exist or are really stale, the really old versions. If you're on a different platform, you know, uh, like on Mac, you can download Terraform through Homebrew. It's probably how I'd recommend doing it. FreeBSD, you already know what you're doing. Windows, just download the installer, run it, and you're good to go. In the next video, we're going to be creating our first web server with Terraform.